It's really hard not to feel hurt or upset when someone judges you. Sometimes you are trapped in constant worry about what people will think of you. What if emotional stability, freedom, peace, and authentic relationships are found now in caring more, but in caring less about the things that don't truly matter? Here are seven incredible things that happen when you don't care what others think of you. Freedom to be yourself. You wake up in the morning and the first thoughts that come to your mind are purely yours. They are not weighed down by societal expectations or the judgments that you think others may pass on you. You go to your wardrobe and pick out the clothes that make you feel comfortable and confident, not the ones you think you should wear to fit in or please someone else. As you go through your day, you speak your mind and your truth without fear of backlash, knowing that while not everyone may agree with you, your voice is your own and deserves to be heard. How liberating would that feel? It's freedom in its truest sense. This freedom to be yourself is like nourishment for your soul, much like water is essential for the body. It quenches a deep thirst within you that you may not even have been aware of. And once you start drinking from this well of self-expression and self-acceptance, you'll wonder how you ever lived any other way. Why is this freedom so important? Because when you're free to be yourself, you unlock a level of authenticity that is otherwise hard to reach. You're not pretending to be someone you're not, which is exhausting, by the way. You're not draining your energy, trying to keep up appearances or fit into molds that were never made for you. Instead, you're pouring that energy back into yourself, fueling your own dreams and fostering your own growth. All stress and anxiety, the two burdens that many of us carry around daily, often without even realizing how heavy they have become, the very idea that you have to conform to external standards or expectations is like a cloud that looms over your head. It's a constant concern that twists and turns your thoughts into a web of what ifs and should have. What if people don't like what I'm wearing? What if they think less of me because of my job? I should have said this. I should have done that. These thoughts pile up, don't they? Before you know it, they have filled your mind, leaving you overwhelmed and mentally exhausted. When you stop caring, your thought patterns begin to change. Your mind is clearer, enabling you to see situations for what they are, rather than what you fear others will think they are. This clarity offers a new perspective one that is centered on your own thoughts and feelings rather than those of the people around you. You find that decision-making becomes more straightforward because you're now guided by your own intuition and sense of right and wrong, not by the fear of external judgment. The emotional toll of stress and anxiety is also considerably reduced when you free yourself from from the judgments of others. Your heart rate doesn't spike every time you think someone may be criticizing you. The knots in your stomach begin to loosen as you cease replaying conversations in your head, wondering how you could have phrased things differently to please others. Physiologically, your body starts to relax and this physical relaxation further aids mental clarity, creating a positive feedback loop that promotes well-being. Furthermore, you'll find that, that stress and anxiety lessen, your energy levels soar, you are no longer wasting emotional and physical energy on needless worry. This newfound energy can now be directed towards constructive, activities, pursuing your hobbies, nurturing your relationships, and investing in your personal and spiritual growth. You don't please others anymore, 
the path of pleasing others is fraught with compromise, sometimes at the expense of your own well-being and spiritual growth. It's like offering cups of water from your own well to travelers passing by. A noble act, but one that can leave you parched and empty if you forget to replenish yourself. When you stop focusing on what others think and start prioritizing your own need, a transformation occurs. No longer tethered to external judgments or expectations, you tap into a reservoir of inner power. The source of your actions shifts dramatically, moving from a place of obligation to a place of true desire. This doesn't mean you become indifferent or uncaring towards others. It means you act from a space of authenticity. There's a misconception that prioritizing oneself is an act of selfishness. When your actions come from a place of self-respect and inner harmony, you become a more loving parent, a more supportive friend, a more engaged community member. You radiate positivity and uplift those you encounter. Think of the emotional and mental energy spent on constantly meeting others' expectations. It's exhausting, and often no amount of effort is enough to please everyone. Freeing yourself from this endless loop conserves your inner resource or for endeavors that truly matter to you. The energy saved can be channeled into your passions, all your relationships, and your spiritual journey. Setting healthy boundaries is another benefit of no longer being governed by what others think. These boundaries act as safeguards for your emotional and spiritual well-being. They define what is acceptable behavior and what is not, delineating the contours of your own sacred space. This is an act of self-respect, a declaration to yourself and to others that your well-being is valuable and worth protecting. You don't change yourself for others. The constant pull to change ourselves to fit someone else's idea of who we should be. It's a struggle almost everyone has faced at some point, and it's one that often begins early in life. From childhood, many of us are flooded with messages about how we should look, how we should behave, what we should aspire to be. These messages come from all directions, family, friends, media, and society at large. The pressure can be overwhelming, and most importantly, it can divert us from the path of discovering and honoring our authentic selves. Let's delve deeper into what happens when you liberate yourself from this cycle and why it's so transformative. When you continuously change yourself to meet others' expectations or to fit into societal norms, you pay a high price. Even if you're not immediately aware of it, first, it's exhausting. The mental, emotional, and sometimes even physical effort required to maintain a mask or to continually adjust your actions and decisions according to others' expectations drains you. Second, each time you change a part of yourself to fit someone else, you're essentially saying that your true self is not good enough. This erodes self-esteem and leads to a diminished sense of self-worth. Over time, you may even lose sight of who you truly are as your authentic self becomes buried under layers of artificial personas you've adopted to gain acceptance or approval. Now, consider the transformation that occurs when you let go of this need to conform. Instead, embrace your unique self. It's like coming home after a long, tiring journey. There's a sense of relief, comfort, and innate joy when you recognize and accept yourself. Accept yourself in perfections and all. By shedding the weight of external expectations, you free up enormous amounts of energy and mental space. This newly reclaimed energy can now be channeled into things that nourish your soul and bring you genuine happiness, appreciating, in expressing your uniqueness is an act of self-love. The more you love and accept yourself, 
the less that you seek validation from outside sources. And something miraculous happens when you stop seeking external validation. You find that the world starts to accept you for who you are. Authenticity attracts authenticity. When you are genuine with yourself, you invite genuine interactions and relationships into your life, enriching your experience in ways you couldn't when you were busy conforming. There's also an immense sense of freedom that comes from being unapologetically you. This freedom fuels creativity and inspires courage. You'll find yourself willing to take risks to venture outside your comfort zone because you're no longer restrained by the fear of what others will think. Each experience becomes richer and more meaningful because it stems from your authentic choices and actions. You rely on yourself for happiness. The search for happiness is one of the most universal quests we take on. Yet often, we look for it in places and people outside of ourselves. But when we rely on external sources for happiness, our emotional well-being becomes vulnerable. We place the keys to our joy in someone else's pocket whether it's friends, family, or society at large. Imagine that your happiness is like a beautiful garden within you. If you let others control it, they may or may not tend to it. They might water the flowers or let them wither. But when you take charge of your own garden, you ensure it gets the care it deserves. You water the plants, remove the weeds, and enjoy the blossoms. You become the gardener of your own happiness, nurturing it from a place of self-love and self-understanding. Taking charge of your happiness has an immediate benefit, resilience. Life is a series of ups and downs. It's unpredictable and full of challenges. When your happiness is self-generated, you're better equipped to face these challenges without crumbling. Why? because your sense of well-being isn't easily swayed by external circumstances. You don't need the world around you to be perfect for you to feel okay. You've cultivated an inner sanctuary of happiness that you can always retreat to, no matter what's happening outside. This resilience helps you to be less reactive. Life's ups and downs. Because you're not desperately searching for joy outside of yourself, you don't swing wildly between elation and despair based on what's going on around you. Your emotional state becomes more balanced, more centered. This doesn't mean you won't feel the natural range of human emotions. We all do, and that's healthy. But it does mean that your core sense of happiness remains untouched. Like a sturdy tree, that stands tall amidst the ever-changing weather. This sense of emotional independence has another perk. It enhances the quality of your relationships. When you are responsible for your happiness, you don't place the burden of your emotional well-being on your loved ones. This frees them to be themselves, which in turn allows her for a deeper, more authentic connection. Both parties can come to the relationship as complete individuals, sharing and enhancing each other's lives, but not requiring the other to feel a void within them. How does one cultivate this inner sanctuary of happiness? It starts with self-awareness and self-acceptance. Take the time to truly know yourself, your likes, dislikes, passions, fears, and deepest desires. Embrace them all. The more you understand yourself, the better you can create conditions that foster your happiness. Next, practice gratitude. It's a simple yet powerful way to focus on what's good in your life rather than what's lacking. The more you appreciate what you have, the more content you'll feel. Also, don't underestimate the power of simple pleasures, a beautiful sunset, conversation with a friend or a good book when you learn to derive joy from simple things you'll find that happiness is abundant and easily accessible